Hey. Hey. Hi, Bonnie. Can, can, hi, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, we got you, Bonnie. How are you? Oh, you're, oh, you're just discussing Justin Bieber. Oh, we, can just start, we, can, we can just go with that. <laughs> We, got, we, we, we were just Canada. talking about how we have Bieber fever over here. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you do, and we're very proud of our Natasha. I mean, you too, Jeffrey. But Natasha, Canadian girl, I yes. hope you took good care of her. <laughs> I absolutely did, and I'm, you know, I'm from Seattle, so I'm dangerously close to being Canadian. Oh. <laughs> That's true. We'll make you an honorary. I'm just, yeah, for I'm this just like interview jump anyway. right over the border. But yeah, she. I was just saying, you're probably going to be a national. Well, she should be a national treasure. She is wonderful, and I have to say, this is one scary little movie, and what makes it more freaky is that it's kind of based on some true events. Did that even freak you guys out more? Not kind of. It's... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, a little bit. Because attached with the script was some, um, I guess, resources and, and kind of the, the story of the whole Dybbuk box, and that it was based on a LA Times article that a guy sold this this Dybbuk box on on eBay, and um, attached was his diary of of kind of what what happened. Um, yeah, he chronicled the events that uh, yeah. people that came in contact with this box and kind of the horrible things that happened to him. And Ramey saw this story in the L.A. Times and got the rights to it and uh, spent a couple of years figuring out a script and um, and here we are. Yeah, and I mean, having somebody like Sam Raimi on board isn't uh, too shabby. Sure. I mean, you know, he uh, he uh, fathered this script through all the, the rewrites and uh, got to a place where he was happy with it and hired um, our director, Ole Bornadal. Uh, and then, uh, you know, from there, I think Ole kind of took the reins and, and um, yeah, the movie yeah. was made. Yeah. I mean, there is a lot going on in here, uh, not just the scary stuff of it, but just the family dynamic alone, you know, oh, that, sure. uh, and how you're having to deal with that. And, uh, you know, how do the two of you bond and, and just kind of keep things calm and happy on the set with all this craziness? She's awesome. I mean, it, it, it was, um, it was, it was, I'd love to say, oh, how hard it was for us to, you know, get that kind of relationship that, that the camera was able to capture. But the fact of the matter is, I think we, um, we fell in love with each other right off the bat. And, and then we were also given the opportunity to kind of play in front of the camera and, yeah. and get some of those moments captured on film, which mm -hmm. really helped. Because I think that's the, the best part of the movie for me is this family dynamic. Yeah, yeah, and and Natasha, for you, like uh, you know, pretty physical and demanding, you know, demanding emotionally as well for you this role. For sure, I mean, it was both physically and, and mentally challenging, but I'm always up for a challenge, and I had a really fun time um, experimenting with the role. And and Ole, um, the director, was amazing, and he really helped, um, I guess, get it out of me. And and I discovered a lot of new emotions that I didn't know I was I was capable of doing. So it was a really really fun learning experience. Yeah, and I have to say, moss, ew, like, gross me out. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> that was one of the hardest scenes for me. I mean, just dumping buckets on me, it wasn't It wasn't that pleasant. <laughs> yeah, oh, God, I, I honestly I don't know how you got through half the stuff in this movie. I, I was wondering for the two of you, Jeffrey, start with you, what was the first movie that you remember that completely freaked you out? Jaws. Ah. Jaws, for, for, for sure. Not even a, a question. I mean, I saw that. I must have been about Natasha's age. And I, I wouldn't even go swimming in a, a swimming pool after I saw that movie for a long time. I mean, any. I think taking a bath was probably traumatic for me. Um, yeah, well, I hope there's no sharks in your bathtub. Well, the, <laughs> you never know. I mean, I, you never know. Yeah, you know, my, my imagination was going crazy after I saw that movie. They were everywhere. Um, so that was the one that first got to me. Uh, and How about you, Natasha? Exorcist. Oh, Gosh, yeah. I saw that um, at a sleepover I was at, and I was probably nine, and it was out with my it was without my mom's permission, and I didn't make it through the whole film because I was too scared. Um, and then after we finished um, filming this movie, I kind of got up the nerve and I, I watched the whole thing and I loved it, but it was still very scary for me. <laughs> Yeah, I still can't look at that image of Linda Blair, and I've seen it, what, 30 years ago. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. It's I hear horrifying. there were some pretty crazy things going on on the set, like some pretty spooky things. Like, there was a fire after you guys wrapped. Yeah. Are you skeptics, or were you skeptics going into this? I was, certainly. Um, I know. was, I mean, I'm kind of iffy about the whole thing. I'm not a skeptic, but I'm not a true believer, and I kind of need uh, proof, and I need to see an event 
and a big one to, to kind of believe and, and change my mind about it. But so what the the, the 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 all the stuff burning down that's not a big enough event. No, it is. <laughs> I just need to be. I wasn't there to see it, so I kind of need to see it and and sense it for myself. But well, like I, you know, you guys did a great job on this. It's pretty darn scary, Thank and it gives you a lot to think about too. So congratulations, and Thank Natasha, you. we're really really proud of you. Thank Come you so much. Come visit us in Toronto, okay? Yeah, for and sure. All right. Maybe you guys should drop by the Toronto Film Festival starting up soon. I know. Yes, that'd I be know. Cool. <laughs> We'd love to see you. Uh, Congratulations right. to the two of you. Thank best, you. Uh, best of luck. Thank, Thank you, you, Bonnie. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye, right, guys. Bye. bye. bye.